All right, well, Graeme, you talk about Alex having a tough job. I think Angie's got the toughest job in the entire world because she just bakes for a living, man. Delicious, delicious treats. <laughs> Angie in the kitchen with us this morning. If you're looking for a perfect weekend treat, we're going to sort you out with this pineapple and coconut tart. It looks amazing. Or cake. Well, that's not a tart. It's a pineapple and coconut cake, and it looks delicious, Angie. Cool. You're going to spoil us this morning, I see. Yes. Right, so what's the deal? The deal is pineapples. Pineapples are seasonal right now. Yes. And don't they just remind you of summer? They're just so happy and sunshiny and they're just, yes. they're, they're beautiful. They're happy and they? sunshiny. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. No, definitely. Because uh, pineapples, it is summery. It's sweet. It's beautiful. Yes. And you can use it in all kinds of different dishes. You so. can. They're very versatile. Yeah. So what we're doing with this one is, I mean, pineapples can be used in so many different ways and their flavor combinations are just Endless. Yeah, absolutely. But what we're doing is sort of caramelizing the pineapples. Okay. So we're going to go with that end of the spectrum. So we've got some icing sugar here, all right. um, some butter in a pan, and then all you do is oh, you wow. take, and these pineapples you can slice however you want. The recipe says in wedges, but actually you can do whatever you like. Okay. Um, and then you're going to and cook them in our fry them up a little not bit. very hot pan, but we'll pretend <laughs> that it's hot. So it and needs to be hot. <laughs> it needs okay. to be sizzling. It needs to be sizzling. <laughs> um, so we'll pretend it's sizzling. Well, and there we go, it's starting. And then what happens is this sugar is going to caramelize in the butter. Wow, um, And okay. give it a bit of color. It softens the pineapple as well. Yes. Um, and it gets rid of some of the liquid that's in it so that yeah. the pineapple doesn't sort of drench into yeah. the pan And I'm sure it'll also, on top of the sugar, it'll draw out its natural sweetness from it, it does, as well. Yeah. It does. So we'll leave those on for a little bit. And then ideally okay, cool. what you would do is once they've caramelized, then you sort of lay them in the tin. Okay. Okay, and you can do it however you want. If you want to slice them in, in rings, yeah. you can so also do that. So you just kind of pop them in there. However you like. Perfect. Then we need to make the batter. Okay. And the batter is pretty much, I've got to figure this machine out. There we go. Um, pretty much a pound cake recipe. So yes. we've got equal quantities of butter. All right. Um, cast the sugar so that it dissolves nicely when we mix it up. All right. And then I'll you're give just going to give it a whiz. Yes. While that's going, we've added some coconut and coconut milk to this recipe just to give it oh, a sort wow. of a, I don't know, sort of a tropical feel. Absolutely. Talk so about summer, you know, you definitely want that tropical fuel when it it's comes It's a little to a bit cake. like having a pina colada in a cake. Yes, mm. look at that. Okay, well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to our pineapple and coconut cake this morning, it truly does look delicious. SMS the keyword Salati to 33728. That's Salati to 33728. And uh, we'll send you everything you need to know. All right, Andrew, we're going to get a move along here. Sure, then we're going to add the eggs. So One at a time. One at a time, but we'll just yeah. chuck them all in. There we go. There we go. Give it a good mix. All right. So this is basically just the batter we That's are putting your together batter. now. And then we can turn that off so we don't All make right. a huge mess. And then we just add our flour, self-raising flour, so you don't even have to measure our baking powder. Okay. Makes it a little easier. And look at and that. And then some vanilla for flavor. And then we and add then our coconut. Coconut Perfect. mixed with the coconut milk. So and that just goes into your baking tray for yep. how long into the oven? Uh, for about an hour at 150. An hour at 150. Yeah. Our keyword this morning is salati. SM is that to 33728. If you've missed any of these steps, here's a quick look back. For the caramelized pineapple melt butter, dip pineapple in icing snow, then add to sizzling butter and cook for three minutes on each side until caramelized. Arrange pineapple on the base of the cake pan for the cake. Mix coconut and coconut milk and leave to soak. Beat butter and cast the snow until fluffy and almost white. Beat in the eggs one by one, then the lemon juice and vanilla extract. Add the flour and soaked coconut and combine well. Spoon batter over the pineapple in the cake pan and bake for 50 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com. SMS the keyword Zalati to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs and T's and C's apply. And there you have it. That keyword once again, Salati to 33728. We have our batter finished. We're just putting it onto our baking tin right now. And that's going to go into the oven, you say, for about an hour. It's 150 about an hour, or so. Yes, yeah. Nice okay. and low and slow. And then we're going to serve it just with a little bit of creme fresh cream. A dollop cream. of cream. Look at that. Um, and there you go. Nice light. And I see you've kind of just laid it here with some pineapple as well. Yes. On the top, just yes. to make it look all sorts of pretty. Exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> perfect dessert. Try it out this weekend. Our keyword is salati to 33728. But stick around. Lots more delicious recipes coming your way from the Expresso Kitchen this morning. But let's find out what is happening next.